years passed, and the Viking warriors continued on their pillaging voyages and grew ever richer. The Viking chief was proud of his people, but he was greedy, single-minded. He wished to expand his village, regardless of the consequences. The chief despised Ardmar. He'd never fought for his village and survived off their scraps. But the chief would tolerate this behavior no longer. Ardmar would have to single-handedly loot the forest, burn it to the ground so their village may prosper. And if he refused, he would face the same fate as his old friend Vaska. After being ridiculed by his village, Ardmar ran home to his hut. Odmar felt hurt and lost. He loved his people, but he couldn't be what they wanted him to be. Perhaps he thought he wasn't a true Viking. Maybe some sleep would do him good. Odmar couldn't believe his eyes. At his side was his long-lost friend Vaska. And in front of them stood the hallowed gates of Valhalla. Wait! cried Ardmar, as his old friend stepped into the light. In front of Ardmar appeared a strange apparition. A forest fairy. She condemned Ardmar's selfish ways and his squandered potential. He had let down those closest to him. He did not deserve a place in Valhalla. But she offered him a deal. A great power. If used correctly, Perhaps he could earn his place in Valhalla, but at a price. Odmar woke up with excitement. What a strange dream. It felt so real. And how did this pouch get here? Was this what he saw in his dream? He looked inside the bag. A mushroom? Oh, my God. 
The villagers were bewildered by the sight of Ardmar's newfound powers. Would these powers help Ardmar redeem himself as a Viking? Perhaps Ardmar could become a great warrior just as his friend Vasco was. But is destroying the forest the right thing to do? There was loud commotion in the crowd. Ardmar! roared the chief. You dare to bring this cursed magic to our village? This is a new low. Death on the battlefield is too noble a fate for you. Perhaps the Kraken should teach you a lesson at the bottom of the sea. You can't hide from the gods, Ardmar! The chief bellowed as Ardmar leapt away. The skies turned dark. Thunder struck. Suddenly, the villagers vanished. Ardmar was shocked. Who took his people? Was it the gods? Why was he left behind? He had to find out. Come <laughs> on. 
Oh. Mm -hmm. 